Hi folks and welcome back to the AGS tutorial. Uh, this video begins a series of uh, uh, videos where we're, where we're going to talk about the Gabriel Knight style dialogue system and um, how, to, how to do that in your game. Um, and basically it's really uh, a series of videos not just on the Gabriel Knight style dialogue but also on how really you can customize AGS. One of the many many ways you can customize your game um, you know, you don't have to accept the defaults that, that the game gives you. For example, the dialogue system. You can change it however you want to change it. Um, I'm not going to try to attempt to show you um, a very extremely complete version of a Gabriel Knight style dialogue system. Um, really, it's just kind of a basic system. There's a lot of improvements that could be made. Uh, but, it, but it is workable and it does work and, and it's sort of um, something that you could plug into your game if you wanted to and, and you're free to do so. Um, Along the way, we're going to touch on several different things um, within AGS that we haven't touched on before. Uh, so, you know, this is going to be a little bit more advanced than the videos that we've gone over in the past. Uh, but I'm sure that, you know, everybody that's followed along this far um, is ready for some advanced stuff, uh, some little bit more advanced stuff. So, uh, so hopefully, um, hang on tight, follow the, follow the, uh, the tutorial, and, uh, you're, and we'll be in for a ride here. So, we'll see how it goes. The first thing that we want to do then with the Gabriel Knight style dialog box or get dialog system is to create a new room within uh, AGS within your game and this room is going to be the where the, the players basically go to whenever the dialog starts. If you remember in the Gabriel Knight um, dialog system there's sort of a black background room and you see the two characters portraits uh, in the corners and then the, the dialog conversation in the middle. Well that black background room is actually a room within uh, it'll be a room within our game um, so that we can use that room for every single dialogue that we create um, so what I'm gonna do then is right click on rooms say new room create a blank room that's fine and I'm gonna name the room um, under edit room I'm gonna name it dialogue or I'll just say GK dialogue room um, GK standing for Gabriel Knight. Um, of course, you could just call it dialogue room if you wanted to. Now, the black background, the default black background that I put is uh, is exactly what we want. So I'm not going to worry about drawing a background for this room because we want to keep the black background. Um, so that's the first step. And again, um, whenever we start the dialogue, basically the, the 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 game will switch to this room for the dialogue to take place. And then when the dialogue is over, it will, the game will switch back to the room that that the dialogue um, came from. The next thing you're going to need to do is download some code that I wrote, um, and you'll basically paste that code that I wrote at the top of your room script file. To get the code, um, if you click, if you look on the the um, to the right side of on YouTube, you'll see the the notes for this video, um, and I've included the link um, to the uh, to the notes that you're going to need, and I've marked it there. Just click on that link, and that will bring up uh, this page here, which um, which you can uh, scroll down and click on the download link to download the file um, called dialogue room script dot text um, just save it anywhere uh, on your machine so that you'll know where it is uh, once you have that file saved then you want to open it up in a text editor um, and I've got textpad here this is the, this is the file that we just downloaded so I'm gonna um, basically just copy this file um, exactly like it is just copy the whole thing. Go back into AGS. Open up your uh, the room that you just created, the dialogue room. Open up the room script, and just paste that code uh, on, on top on top of the uh, at the top of your file. Um, our file was empty. It had that one comment in there. I just took out that comment and just pasted that entire code here um, in there. I won't be going over exactly this whole um, <laughs> this whole code. Um, I, I guess I can if, if folks want want to see it, but. Um, really, I, I just created this so that uh, this is sort of a working engine, a working skeleton, if you will, of, of part of part of what we're going to need for the the dialogue room to work. I've also included some directions. Uh, if you want to look at the directions, I'll be going over these directions in the videos, and this is basically what I'm going to be doing in the videos. So if you want to just go over these directions yourself, um, you can certainly do that as well. Um, but it might be easier to watch the, the videos because I'll be going into a lot more you know in-depth explanations as, uh, in the videos as well. And I just noticed that I numbered this 
four twice. Um, oh well, I'm human. I make mistakes. So uh, there's two number fours, but that's okay. Um, so basically what we just did is we created a new room. We called it um, Dialog Room or we called it GK Dialog Room. Um, we, co we pasted the code at the top of the scripts file. So we're on step three now. Um, you'll need to create a separate, and I'll just read it here, you'll need to create a separate view for each character that will be used for the character's speech portrait animation to use when, with, while in the dialogue. What I mean by that is, um, I'll bring up the uh, um, GK, the Gabriel Knight dialogue here, and you'll see that each character has a different view. When they're in this room, when they're in the dialogue, they have a different view. It's not just the standard Gabriel you know, view of, of his full body view with an animation. There's a separate view for when he's in this dialogue. And, and similar to um, down the lower right corner, um, whatever character you're talking to will have a, will have a different view. So you're going to need to create those views um, within AGS. Now what I did is I created uh, views within the original Sammy's Quest game, which I didn't use for dialogues, but I used in the introduction for Sammy's Quest. And so I'm just going to use those, um, those uh, sprites and th that view uh, for, for demonstration purposes within these videos. So I'm going to go to my sprites section. I'm going to scroll down to um, the appropriate, video, the appropriate uh, views here. This is the view I'm going to use for Sammy. Uh, it's the same view that I used in the introduction video uh, for, for dialogues. This is the view that I'm going to use for Sammy. So I'm going to go to views, right click, create a new view. I'm going to call it V Sammy Dialogue. And then I'm going to go back to my sprites and assign this dialogue view by right-clicking Assign to View. We've done this a long, long time ago. I want to assign it to the new view I just created, which was dialogue, which was view 7. I'll assign it to the very first loop, which is loop 0, and click OK, and that assigns that. For the secondary character, then, in this case, I'm only going to have one. I'm going to have Mr. Donatello. I'm going to use this other series of sprites. Again, you would need to draw these yourself. Um, I'm going to use these other ones, so I need to create a new view. Right click, new view. I'm going to call this one V Donatello DLG, and I think that's within 14 uh, characters. I'm going to go back to the sprites, select this series that I want to use for that view. Right click, assign to view. This is going to be assigned to view number 8. Click OK. So now we have two views here that are that we've opened up. We have um, this first one. This is my character portrait um, for for Sammy, and this is going to be the character portrait for um, Donatello. Obviously, these aren't Sammy and Donatello, but you get the idea. So close those. Okay, so that's step whatever that was. Step um, three. You'll need to do that for every character that's going to participate in the dialogue. So, you know, using this Gabriel Knight dialogue system is going to take a lot more work. You're going to have to create a lot more um, uh, sprites, a lot more animations for your characters. But, you know, it's worth it if, if that's the kind of um, dialogue system that you want to have. Uh, in general, this dialogue system does require more work um, than just the standard um, dialogue system that's included within AGS. So the next uh, step we need to do is we need to add a new property to your character and populate it for each character with that character's dialogue view that you created in step two. What the heck do I mean by that? Um, well, we're going to get into something called custom property. Um, someone had asked in a couple of videos ago, they left a comment, um, I think it was Wasco, that asked about uh, you know custom properties and what are they and how are they used. So uh, that's where we'll pick up on the next video is um, custom properties and we'll, we'll continue to go from there. So join me in the next video, guys. I hope this is useful.